Jesus, let's have it right, boys and girls. That game was nothing short of sickening for a multitude of reasons. Chelsea... Chelsea qualified to the next round of the FA Cup at home against Plymouth, but oh my god. Heart attack, FC. I feel sick. Genuinely. Look, man, we're going to not spend too much time on this game. Thomas Tuchel um, couldn't be there because he tested positive, so he can't even go to like the Club World Cup as things stand. We'll cover that on tomorrow's Chelsea News video. This was... <laughs> okay, let's have a look. This is how we lined up, um, I think. Well, we actually lined up with a back four. It was Ariza Balaga and goal. Rudiger, Saar, well, this, uh, Saar was the left back. Rudiger and Christensen were the centre backs. And then we had Azpilicueta as the right back. We had um, the four in midfield was hudson Adoy, Kovacic, Mason Mount, and then Hakim Ziyech on front of uh, Jorginho. And of course, you had Lukaku up front. And somehow Lukaku survived the whole game. We're going to get into that, boys and girls. Yes. Um, let's just run you through what happened. What are the stats here? Look, 41 total shots to 11. It felt like they had like, you know, seven over 71% possession. Um, you know, way, way better pass success, more dribbles. You can see the stats down the bottom there. Uh, there you go. You can see that it's just refreshed and you can see that's the starting lineup that we had. Um, it was more of a 4-1-4-1, but sometimes a 4-3-3. Uh, let's read you through the chronology of the heart attacks. In the eighth minute... Um, uh, Gillsbury scores the opener. It was a good goal. Romelu Lukaku doing absolutely nothing at the, uh, the near post. And usually he's had he's done pretty well, Lukaku, in, in our defensive box, if he's done anything well since he's arrived at Chelsea. Maybe a little bit unfair. He started okay in terms of goal scoring. Whatever. Jorginho gets booked early doors. We... Equalise at the end of the first half. It's a great uh, finish. A great ball from Mason Mount. Cesar's Piliqueta doing his like Gianfranco Zola like little side heel flick. Very nice. Um, very very nice there from uh, As Piliqueta. In fact, he scored. It in fact, he scored a goal. He scored an offside goal, and he made loads of centre forward runs. As Piliqueta was the best centre forward on the day, if you ask me. Uh, Christensen comes off. Marcus Alonso comes on at half time. I guess that's for like, well, I, I, maybe it's to have more of an offensive uh, left back with Alonso, and then Saar goes into the into uh, you know, ooh, uh, and then Saar goes into the um, centre, like takes a centre back role and that doesn't play left left back essentially. Um, who scored? Given Saar a seven point eight, which considering considering he conceded a penalty um, and a wobbly few moments, I don't know. Look, man, the ref. The refereeing, I don't think, was great in this game, but th that is not the narrative. The narrative is Chelsea being no way near good enough, and we're going to get into that. Of course, there was like moments where uh, Kai Havertz was running in through on goal, outside the box, but he's literally pulled down and, and nothing. N you know, nothing. Um, and then, obviously, there's just loads of subs, loads of heart attacks. It goes into extra time, and Marcus Alonso is a lovely goal, actually. Like, both Chelsea goals were lovely, but that's, I'm not I'm not forgiving them for that because they should have absolutely ripped apart League One Plymouth Argyle at Stamford Bridge. I, I, I mean, champions of Europe. The, uh, the, the, Plymouth, the Plymouth fans were singing, Champions of Europe, you're having a laugh, and fair... Play, mate. Do you know what I mean? Because, yes, we were poor. Uh, yeah, so that is in the 106th minute. Kai Havertz. But then, then, we can see the penalty. Malang Sard has some, like, weird back pass and then fouls the player. And then, fortunately, we have Kepa Rita Balaga in gold, who, uh, yes, it wasn't the best penalty that he saved, but if you need someone to save a penalty, Kepa. And you know what, man? Good opportunity now to let's talk about... Let's talk about player performances, and then we'll talk about the next round. Of whatever. Player performances. Um, first off, also, Plymouth did uh, blah, 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 deserve a great deal of ex uh, respect in this game, especially their back three and the goalkeeper. I tweeted out, I feel like we were playing against Juventus in 2016 in terms of their back three. It looks like we were playing against Prime, BBC, Barzagli, Benucci, and Chiellini. Uh, and those three in front of Cooper, who was playing like Prime, Manuel, Neuer. Like serious, serious tings here, boys. Like, they're, like they, were play they deserve a great deal of respect. The defenders, the defensive performance, and indeed their away fans. Like, big up them, uh, you know, because they were good. 
So, let's talk about the performances. Kepa and goal, I think he was good. I don't blame him for the goal. I blame Lukaku for the goal. <laughs> I mean, and he saved a penalty, and I think he made a few good claims. Kepa's good for me. As for Lequeta, very good performance. Um, one of the best performances he's had for a while. In fact, let's let's go. Okay, let's keep going. So Christensen, not great, got subbed. Rudiger, fine. Uh, Saar apparently got a 7.8 on who scored, which makes no sense to me. Uh, Jorginho, not particularly great. Kovacic, fine. Uh, Hudson Odoi had a couple of good moments in the first half, but wobbly a lot of like wobble, wobbles in the first half, and then he was much better in the second half. And how he was substituted instead of um, instead of um, Romelu Lukaku, I'll never know. As you can see here on on, on the graphic, actually Hudson Odoi and Kovacic twice hit the woodwork, and by then that was the first ten shots. So in the first ten shots of as you can see, 41 shots from Chelsea, we'd hit the woodwork three times. So a little bit unlucky. So I actually think Kovacic was probably quite good. Um, was, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, Hudson Odoi, I think in the second half, really came alive. So I was surprised to see him come off. And then really it was all about the right-hand side, wasn't it? It was about Azpilicueta and Mason Mount and Hakim Ziyech. Now Hakim Ziyech is probably the man of the match. Again, but Mason Mount was very, very good. I think he made more key passes. I saw Alex Goldberg tweet out he made more key passes than Ziyech. It was those two that made the most um, when they're on the pitch. Lukaku zero goals. So, and, and but really importantly, I, I think Mason Mount and Hakim Ziyech have got really good chemistry now. They were like flicking the ball to each other a lot, both creating chances. And as you can see, that whole right hand side, 8.1, 8.3, 9.1. I know it's just a who scored rating, but I think it's probably reflective on, you know, on them being good, you know. Um, obviously, um, Kai Havertz comes on and gets an assist as well. We need to talk about that. So, who was bad? Timo Werner was bad. Lukaku was bad. I mean, you got most of us were crap, to be honest. In terms of being good, though, with the right hand side, as P. Mount Ziesch, uh, and I think Havertz deserves deserves like respect because he assisted Marcus Alonso for the goal. I didn't think Marcus Alonso was particularly good, but who needs to be particularly good when you, you know, you pull up with the clutch goal that ultimately wins you the game. Look, man, look, we haven't played in two weeks, okay? So the most important element of this game is just winning. It was horrible. It was reminiscent of Chelsea's prime heart attack FC moments, which it absolutely was. But that's all, that's all we got to do. We go and play the Club World Cup now. Hopefully Tuchel gets to join us out, well, the players out there, and uh, he flies out and can meet them. I don't know if there's any correlation between Tuchel not being present on the touchline and Chelsea playing like absolute trash. Don't know if that's, you know, related, but this is one of those games where you just got to forget it and move on, man, because we had, we were struggling to score again at home against a League One side. I don't know where they are on the table. They might not, you know, they might be like lower down on the table as well. We had Luka 100 million pound Lukaku, 72 million pound uh, um, Kai Havertz, 50 million pound Timo Werner, 35 million pound um, Hakim Ziyech, and you know, Mason Mount is a great, great player. Uh, loads of like good attackers on the pitch, and we we required two Spanish fullbacks to score our goals for us in Cesar Spilicueta and Marcus Alonso. Like, no disrespect to either of them, but my word, we've got to sort it out. And by the way, this is no criticism on Mason Mount and Hakim Ziyech. I think they both did their jobs as much as well as they could do. Ziyech can score a wonder goal, but ultimately he's like a creator, and he does that so so well. Lukaku's been crap. Werner came on, looked lost, and I love Timo Werner. You know, he's a fan favourite, but my word, my word. The only one that sort of came on and in the end did his job and was effective is Kai Havertz. And you think, like, just, just you know, Lukaku's not even, like, using his physical profile anymore. I'd, I'd love for Lukaku to score, start scoring goals. I, I've got no emotional connection to him anymore. If you, if, but he is ultimately a talented footballer and I'd love for him to score goals. But at the moment, dude, at the moment, doesn't look like it's going to happen. And ultimately, you know, <sighs> play Kai Havertz, start Kai Havertz. Anyway, man, I'm out. Um, please do drop a like on the video. It means a lot. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you're just returning and you're yet to subscribe. Click that button. And if you choose to do so, bell notifications icon. We qualified. We move. Peace. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk
In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry. I